you you do not even have to have elections anymore because you can already uh, predict what uh, predict and afterwards you can say why do we need elections because we know what the result will be can you imagine such a world there's no need to imagine it already did happen this big data in politics and it happened in 2015 with justin trudeau and kudos to him for doing this it's too bad stephen harper and no one else in the conservative even saw this coming but this is how it began once again the, the wedding photo of Justin Trudeau. Hi over there, Pichomp. There is him. 2005, so lifelong friends. How did they become friends? Well, once again, there's always a very rich connection. Michael Pitfield and just and Trudeau, Pierre Trudeau. That's the queen, obviously. They're signing the charter in 1982. That's how far back it goes with those two. So they are very close, Tom Pitfield and Justin Trudeau. Tom Pitfield. He's not really in the political light because he's a data science guy and data sciences, for example, it was an ethics. Uh, they had a look into it because the money that he got to start that data science institute looks like it came from Justin Trudeau. But once again, they nothing was found. Go look somewhere else. But what he did was actually pretty smart. He has looked at all the writings, for example, in Canada, and he ranked them rank them between platinum and wood. Now, wood would be Alberta because most likely, very unlikely to win liberal. And virtual certainty would be like Montreal, Papineau to be exact. So you rank every riding in Canada with this score. And when the volunteer on the door, there's they look at their phone and they get to type the data in of how it was talking to the person if they were more likely to vote for liberal or not. All that data to a big, big data machine, an IBM called the console. And from that, they could do analytics on where to focus and where not to focus to save time. Because when there's like two months left in an election, they need every every hour needs to be used properly. So this machine actually helped them and they probably use demographics and income and a lot of other variables in that mix to calculate it. So it was very smart to do. And it reminds me of that movie with the, with the baseball Moneyball. That's the movie right there where they used big data to find out which athlete that they should buy and, and use for the players. So this looks like it's the same type of thing. This is the first time in a political party that they use big data to find out where to focus and not focus and tom pitfield was part of that he was the chief digital strategist for prime minister justin trudeau during that election in 2015 and it says right there he worked for the china for the canada chinese business council there you go again another chinese connection for another very close liberal friend so Kudos to him to get the use the big data to do it. And once again, it's too bad Stephen Harper was way out to lunch with actually foreseeing that that would happen. So let's uh, continue watching with uh, what Sergey and Klaus talking about big data. Um, well, you might then further ask, well, why do we need to have, you know, elected leaders at all? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. you might as well have all the decisions made. Yeah. Um, mm. I think that's, once again, I mean, you're venturing into, I think, profound questions. Um, you know, you can ask also, what will we actually want? I mean, we have a set of values and desires today um, that are probably pretty different than um, 